Hi, this is Justin from Hotspot Nymphing, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie the Crash Dummy Nymph. So a quick history of this fly before we begin. I basically needed a fly that was an attractor color, but still kind of transparent. Not too bold, same idea as a red dart. So I sketched out essentially a tag fly, um, and I was experimenting with these inverted beads. So I tied the fly that I sketched out, and whenever I was done, I was like, man, this looks just like a crash test dummy. And that's how this fly was named. So I tied several of these flies and I took them out fishing several times. I did well on them just about every single time, caught a bunch of fish. And it's really a great fly whenever you want an attractor fly, but you don't want something quite as bold as like a squirmy or a mop fly. So let's get into tying one. All right, so for a hook, I have an Orianson size 14 dry fly hook. And then for a bead, I have a tactical fly fisher inverting tungsten bead in gold and a three millimeter. And normally for thread, I'd use some UTC semi need in here and yellow, but I actually ran out of that a few days ago. So I'm using some Orvis 6 aught in yellow. So I'm starting my thread just behind the bead, building a little bit of a thread base to secure the bead. And for a tail, I'm going to be using some hen hackle. Just a few strands. I will make it um, about from the eye to where the hook starts to bend. Trim up that waist. And for a tag, I'm gonna use some uni floss. This is in the bright yellow. And I'm gonna wrap back. Take one wrap. This is one strand, but I'm gonna double it over and tie that back all the way to the tail and then I'm going to trim it about I don't know third way down the tail so we have a nice little tag for the rib I'm going to use some gold ultra wire in the small size tie this down and then for a secondary rib, I'm going to use some red ultra wire in the brassy size. So the brassy size is just a little bit bigger, so that'll kind of stand out a little bit more. That's what I want. And now I'm just going to build a nice, as even as I can body going up with just a tiny bit of taper. And then I'm going to take my gold and red wire together. And I'm going to wrap, leaving some space in between each of the wraps. off and then split them and then helicopter them off and 
Now to add some durability to the body, I'm going to use some Loon UV Clear Flying Finish in the Flow. And that kind of makes the body a little bit more transparent as well. I'm going to cure it. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of some hot yellow ice dub and build a very small dubbing noodle on my thread and build just a very small thorax and that will kind of keep the CDC that we're going to add in front of it and it will kind of flare it out a little bit better. So for some CDC I'm going to use some this is Sulfur Orange. It's kind of a mix between yellow and orange. Tie that in by the tip. Now I'm going to make one, two wraps. Cinch it down. And cinching it down, I'm going to put my fingernail on the eye of the hook. And I'm going to grab the CDC. And I'm going to pull. That's pulling against each other. So that really kind of levels it off and pulls it and cinches it down really tight. Trim the rest of the CDC off. Wrap a little bit in front to keep it green back. And then I'm going to go ahead and whip finish my thread. Once again, I'm going to cinch down the same way. Then I'm going to find where the knot ended. This is underneath the hook. Get in there very close, trim that out, and then for some durability, take some more flow and coat the thread wraps. And cure it. And I'm going to rip the CDC with my fingernails to size. And I'm going to go about to the end of the hook. So if you bring it back, then it goes to the end of the hook. So that's it. That's the crash dummy. This fly has proved itself in many outings. Even caught some pretty large rainbows at Beaver Creek in Virginia. Tie some. It's a really fun fly to tie. And go catch some fish. Eat the crash dummy. It's a very pretty fish. You see that crash dummy? It's definitely a great fly for the, this dirtier water right now. A little bit high off color, you want something a little bit more bright. Try and get their fish, try and get the fish's attention. That's a nice rainbow. Ain't that crash dummy.